Hello, in this video I want to demonstrate um, how I got Wi-Fi Tether working on my T-Mobile, as you can see here in this top left corner, um, LG V10. Um, and it's actually using um, Lollipop 5.1, I don't know if it's 5.1.1, so let's, let's go check. Um, software 5.1.1 so of course with um, the lollipop a lot of um, carriers blocked the ability to Wi-Fi tether um, because they either charge for it or they don't want you to be able to do it with unlimited plans so when Lollipop came out, it became really hard uh, to Wi-Fi tether. Now, before, uh, I had uh, Verizon, and Verizon's just one of those companies that lets you do it because they're going to charge you more. I mean, they charge you $15 for every extra gig you go over your plan. So they're like, hey, we're just going to make some money off of you. Go ahead and tether. But I know a lot of companies don't do it. And T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, you have to pay like an extra $30 a month to have that feature. So they either don't let you do it or they don't let you do it for free. So I really needed to tether um, my Wi-Fi the other day, and I thought it would be simple because it's actually in the settings. Um, but if um, they block you, if you're with a company that blocks you or you don't pay for it, it just won't work. So um, as you see here, it says mobile hotspot. Um, you can turn it on, and um, if you don't have uh, the proper Wi-Fi tethering application, if your phone is not rooted, um, it's going to block you. It's going to say that you're not authorized. So this method um, definitely requires your phone to be rooted because the Wi-Fi tether um, will be asked for super user permissions. Um, so let's see when I go here and I say Wi-Fi is currently um, on mobile hotspot can't run when Wi-Fi is on so you say okay because it uses your data and you see this it says authenticating um, just the mere fact that authenticating came up means I'm not going to be able to do it so it's authenticating means <laughs> The cell phone company is checking. So it says there's a temporary problem, but that's not true. It's not temporary. It's permanent because they're preventing me from being able to do it. So essentially what I had to do is I had to go to this website. And um, I use Puffin Browser as the browser on my phone when I want to do desktop versions um, of a browser because it you know has flash built directly in and it allows me to download stuff sometimes um, on my phone that I can't download like in Chrome or in the built-in browser so I use Puffin because this website has a ad blocker um, not an ad blocker but you know how they they say skip this ad and once you skip it it gets frozen in uh, Chrome so I had to share the link here this is the actual link you see it's called Wi-Fi tether router is version um, 6.1.4 I believe you can go as far back as version 6.0.7 and it still works with lollipop but that's the lollipop version so I'm gonna put the link directly to this in my description and you click this bottom one right here that says download um, and that will begin the download it's gonna ask you where you want to download it to puffin gives you that option to your device or to the cloud stuff like that and then this is the actual website with all the different multiple um, phones that you have oh no 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 that's not true this is the one that has the multiple uh, links to it so I picked um, the one here just the first one but they have three different ones as you can see um, I picked this first one on the left and downloaded that version. So I'll put the link to both of those just in case my link no longer works for whatever reason. Uh, and then you have download mirrors. So you can hit the download up here. I, I hit that. That didn't work for me, the word download. 
but this second one here down on the bottom, I guess it'd be the first one, um, out of these icon ones, uh, I click that one, but it's the second one listed because you have the download in green, that's a download, and then these three down here. Um, but I click this first one here on the left, and that's actually what this page right here is. So I'll put the link to both of those in the description. Um, and when I downloaded it, of course, the very next thing you have to do is you have to install it. So um, you have to go into your file browser. So it requires you to have a few things. Your phone has to be rooted. Um, you have to have a file browser that allows you to... Um, get into your phone's um, internal memory and um, let's see where's my I never know where anything is okay um, so I'm in my file browser and I go to downloads and um, here it is Wi-Fi, and we're going to go ahead and delete this one so it's not confusing. This is what the icon actually looks like right here. This is it, this green one. Um, but on my phone, I guess it's the icon pack that I have. Um, it doesn't look like that. It's white. So um, don't pay attention to that because that's only because of the icon pack that I have. It's actually that green. So when you install it to your phone you're going to look for the green um wi-fi tether or if you have an icon pack you just got to look for the name like i did and then you find it so there's also a website um that you go to that gives you the list of different um how you program the wi-fi tether to work with your individual phone um and so i'm not sure if um i have it here or not but uh, I, I'll to retype it in. So it's um, called Wi Fi Tether. And then I just said um, website. Because that's the name of the app. tether router and then you go to this one device tethering configuration Wi-Fi tether router that's what you want to go you see it matches the icons I'm gonna put the link to this in the description too but you see you know you're in the right place because it's the same icon and basically it's just a list of all the different phones um, that have lollipop and what you would have to put into the um, Wi-Fi Tether app in order for it to work for you. Um, so I'm going to go and, and, and try to, you know, demonstrate that really quickly. Okay, so inside of the app, app is a little glitchy, but, you know, so you go here, Wi-Fi is disabled, okay. So you click... Hold on, I might, you might have missed that. You go here, because that message came up. And underneath, yeah, it pops away. So I have to do it while this is. It says configure Wi-Fi behind this blue box. When you click that, there's like four different places that you have to fill out. They're inside of the app. So you see here where it says interface WAN LAN 0, right? So that's for the HTC One M8, right? So if I had the HTC One M8, it would be as simple as going here and look for the word interface. And then I would type in, once I click that, oh, I, I clicked method. Once I click that, I would choose whichever WAN land. But, I chose that one because that's the one for my phone. So that's essentially how that works. Um, whatever's listed there, you just go into the app. And so method, you would go into the app and find method for whatever your phone model is. All right, so I'm gonna click method and choose what they tell you to choose, okay? 
So I've already done that. Um, and so my uh, Wi-Fi tether is, it's ready to go. So it's glitchy, I guess, you know, so as soon as it opens, I have to say enable Wi-Fi router. Click it a couple of times just to make sure. Um, it went through, super user pops up. Of course you granted permission. And it says it's enabling, right? So I've already set the parameters for it, meaning I've given it a name and um, I've given it a password. It takes a minute or so to get it running. You know, it's not a perfect science. But, as you can see, it says Wi-Fi in red down here, Wi-Fi network, La V, and Wi-Fi key is my Wi-Fi key there. And here in the top left corner, you see that it says, it has the green icon, which lets you know it's wrong. So, essentially, what I'm going to do is um, go into my phone, my other I'm going to show you. So you see, it says lobby. So it's showing up as a hotspot. I'm going to put the password in. Press join. Oh, I think I'm going to put the password in. Let's see. Oh. Join that. Just trying. There it is. So I just joined the network up, oh, and you saw the, the pop up. So I'm getting notification. Up, oh, look at that. Notifications are coming. So notifications are coming. You hear that? Because it just connected to the internet. So let's uh, do something that, like, look. Okay. So that's this came up because it wasn't previously connected. You can see the tweets coming through. And bow. We pulled up the Google page. Um, let's go to another web page because sometimes that can just be a fluke. And bow. So my phone is actually wide tethering. And, and um I went through a whole lot actually trying to find that. People were saying that I had to reprogram and use SQLite. And that thing is expensive. That thing is like $8. So I just kept doing research and I found this app. This app still works. It's amazing, as you can see. Um, and so this is how you can Wi-Fi tether with Lollipop 5.1.1. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't have Marshmallow, so I don't know if it'll work on Marshmallow. Um, but if it works on Marshmallow and you try it, you know, write us a comment and let us know. I hope that this video helps someone. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe. Okay, bye-bye.